welcome back to another video. Today I have my Hobonichi unboxing for 2019. I've been waiting for this package for so long now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna unbox it for you guys. I was so, so happy to see that this box has a little bit of a pattern on it. Um, at first when I saw this really, really quickly um, on social media and on the Facebook group, I saw this pattern and I didn't think I would like it. I thought it was very odd for Hobonichi to do a patterned um, box. However, if you look up close, their little faces, aren't they so cute? Their little faces and they're adorable. So yeah, that is totally Hobonichi. And as you can see here in the corner, it is um, their 20th anniversary, which is really, really nice. So I really like the color of the box. It matches um, the yellow one from last year. This one was the one that I got last year. For some reason, this year's box, I got a very, very big one. I'm not sure why because last year I think I got a little bit more. This one I kind of scaled back my order a little bit. But yay, I am so excited to open it. So for those of you that just want to watch the unboxing, skip the next couple of minutes. I want to talk about a little bit of the shipping and stuff like that beforehand. So I ordered on September 1st. I am in the Eastern time zone and I believe the Hobonichi release is I think 10 o'clock at night, the night before the first, but I actually um, just waited to do my order the next morning just because I didn't want um, too much like traffic and stuff like that. I didn't want to like rush my order or anything because I was scared I was gonna make some mistakes. So I waited into the next morning. My package shipped on the next Thursday. So that was the sixth. It went into the um, Japanese Postal Service. It got in Canada on Sunday, which is the 9th, which was insane. I was supposed to get this package yesterday, which was Monday the 10th. Um, however, no one rang my doorbell. So I had to wait a little bit to pick this up at my local post office, which is okay as long as I know that this is safe and it wasn't like caught in the rain or anything. Um, I was happy. So now let's get to the unboxing. I'm so excited. So let us open up this box. Oh, so exciting. And there we have the quote for this year, which is really, really nice. Um, it says, don't ever lose hope. It's far too important. You know how a pinch of salt changes the whole flavor of a dish? Your hope is that salt. I think that quote is quite nice. I still really like um, the one from last year, if I can get that into shot. I really like this one as well. I'm definitely going to write that in my planner. So I'm actually just going to move off this box from the table so I can show you guys things a little bit more clearly. So this is the first item that I see when I open my box and oh my gosh, it is so, so, so pretty. This is a patterned clear cover on cover. This is one of the hide and seek covers for my A6. I seriously love this cover so much. If I just put it there, maybe you guys will be able to see. Um, I wasn't planning on picking up a cover this year, although I kind of do regret it. But anyways, I decided to pick up a clear cover on cover to go over top of uh, my hydrangea from last year. So I'm going to switch out this plain one into this pattern one. Um, and I just thought this cover was so pretty. It has little like gold accents. It does kind of look a little bit yellow. It's not like super shiny or anything, but I really like the gold accents and I also really love all of the little animals that you can see. I don't know if I can find them all but as I keep looking at this cover it is like it gets even more beautiful. I love all of the um, designs it's quite whimsical as well and you can see these little animals look they're so cute there's a little cat up here I think this could be a squirrel you have like a bunny here I'm not sure what this animal is called <laughs> like a badger I guess um, I think this could be like a beaver, where's a few more, here is a few more, there's another one of those, oh my gosh it is so cute and I love these little stars and moons, um, that's definitely something that I go for. And these are quite affordable as well, they're only 380 yen and yeah, I really like the pink paper on the background as well. <laughs> So the books that I will be using for this upcoming year, again, is the Hobonichi Techo Original. And this is in the Avec version, so you do get two books. I am currently using the Avec right now, if you've been watching my videos. Um, I first used it kind of as like a daily, putting all my to-dos, and then I started journaling in it um, just recently. 
So let us open this guy up first. I don't think they made any changes to the layout. I think it is pretty much exactly the same. Um, this is in Japanese, so I'm not really sure what it says, but let's just see. It has a 24 um, hour hourly on the side. The grid is 3.7 millimeters. What else? It has that invisible line um, down the front, which is the same as last time. It has the quotes still, the dated numbers, and I think, I think that is it. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um, so here is the January to June. Same colors as the previous year, I believe. Let me just check. Yep, same colors. Um, at first I thought these colors were a little bit distracting. I felt like I had to like match all of my spreads um, for the month with like the color that it has here. However, once I started journaling it, I kind of didn't mind um, the color. So I am definitely going to be using this as my journal for next year and I'm so happy. Uh, and this is the same, again, a bunch of different colors and it has the... Actually, let's, let's do a quick flip inside here. Um, so you have your yearlies over here, 2018, 2020, 2019. Uh, this area over here, which is the vertical month on one, two, one, two, three, four months on two pages vertically. And that goes from December of this year until uh, March of the next year. Then you have all of the monthlies here, the monthly calendar starting from December of this year. And then this one, because it's the Avec, it should end in July. So July, turning a new page to the year, nice grid paper. Oh, here's something that they changed. Um, they don't have the lined layout in the beginning of each month anymore. So they used to have uh, a remember this page like that, but now here we just have like a quote and then a blank area. I did kind of like the lines in here, but honestly it doesn't really make that much of a difference. <laughs> um, and as you can see, like this part over here was colored um, in this year's, and then this part over here is colored in the next year's. Um, so then you just have all of the pretty colorful pages. Let's see your timetable in the back. Graph paper, favorites. Unfortunately, I don't remember what this page is called, but I think they took out the 100 favorites. Yeah, I think they took out the 100 favorites. Um, here we have like some foodie things. Um, some animals, and then probably just your conversions and just extra information. Gift ideas, conversions, contacts, personal notes. That is the first book. Now if I quickly go through this, because I have the rest of the haul video to go to, um, again you have that same calendar, exactly the same. So this vertical um, calendar starts in June and ends in May of the next year. Wow, you get a lot in there. Um, and then your regular calendar view, this is a Monday start by the way, um, starts in June and goes until January of 2020. Two blank pages again. Uh, oh, another grid page. And then this is July. Again, no lines on this paper. It is just blank. It has a colored bar on the side and then starts all of the dailies. In the very back, I believe it is the same. Uh, you don't get um, another page in here dividing up uh, the last daily page, you go straight into a timetable, another graph paper favorites, another one of these, and then exactly the same as the previous book. Yep, everything is exactly the same. And then you have your little authentication <laughs> uh, stamp there. So I wasn't intending to do that, but that was a quick flip of um, the Techo books. Now let's check out this little flyer. I was so excited to get this one. I think it is so cute. I hope they um, put up a translation somewhere, somewhere online. Um, I believe uh, this illustration was done by a Thai um, artist. 
And her illustrations are so adorable. Look at her. She is so cute. I like how like bubbly she is and she's like so round. So it says this is my life. And then has like some information about the tattoo on the bottom. And on the back it is so pretty. I will have to take a picture of this um, on my phone and then put it into um, my Hobonichi to journal with. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. It says happy nothing special day on the bottom. Can you see that? It says happy nothing special day in English. Then I'm, I'm pretty sure this says the same thing in Japanese. And then Thai. That is so cute. I'm going to look up this artist um, some more maybe on Instagram or something like that because her stuff is so cute. I like how they used a Thai artist as well. I thought that was quite different. So that is the little pamphlet. So now here are the little freebies um, that you get when you purchase a book or a planner. If you get the week's book, then you only get the pen. You don't get this little um, bear. If you purchase an A6 Avec original um, or planner, which is the English version of this, then you also do get both of these. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly take them out of the packaging. So everything is in these tiny little bags. I'll just show you this card. I'm gonna definitely journal with this. I'm gonna, probably gonna cut it out or something because it's so cute. I like this little illustration of the misunderstood bear. So let's open him first because he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's a lot heavier than I expected him to be. Oh my gosh, he is quite weighty. Oh, I didn't expect him to be that heavy. Um, so I will put in a close-up of this bear right now. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's so detailed. Oh my gosh. So, um... Hobonichi has done a few collaborations with Stife, and I believe... I'm not sure if this is a collaboration with Stife because it's that little, like, teddy bear cover, right? It's like the furry one. Um, I'm not sure if this is a collaboration with them, but definitely it's so cute, honestly. I really enjoy how they call him the misunderstood bear because he's a little scary looking, but he's so cute. There's so much detail into this. Like, his fur is, like, gorgeous. It's so nice. His little ears. He has a little teeth. He's holding a Hobonichi. Like, that is so cute. I also really like the detail on the paws as well. If you look really closely, you can see, like, all the little um, details there. And on the bottom, it says Hobonichi. <laughs> look, on his little bum, it says Hobonichi, which is so cute. Um, so yeah, definitely, I'm definitely going to use that because it's quite hefty. It's, like, a little heavier than I expected it to be. Um, so yeah, I really, really like that. And this is the gorgeous pen. Hello! How adorable is this? I was so excited when I saw the colors for this. So the barrel for this is a white and it just has some gray lettering. Um, Hobonichi describes this as a uh, pale or light pink. It's actually kind of like a nude color and this little tip is transparent. So you get the red, the blue, and the black and this is all in the uni jet stream. I've been actually testing out um, pens in my Hobonichi and I actually really like this jet stream on the Hobonichi paper. Um, I don't use it to plan regularly but um, I definitely like it when I'm journaling because it feels really nice on the Hobonichi paper. I will say that I don't use a lot of red and blue though so I was kind of looking into um, like replacements or like different ones that I can put into here but I can't really find any. If you guys know if there are any other colors like if there was like a light blue or even like a pink i really like pink so if you guys know any refills that will fit into the hobonichi pen um i would love to hear your suggestions but this pen is really gorgeous i also still really like the yellow of last year's so i'm gonna have two pens now yay so i picked up another pencil board um last year's was a brown and a blue and this time it is a blue and a yellow which is so nice um, so I picked up one for my um, Avec Original A6. So I really like the color of this year's um, pencil board or Sitajiki. I think it is so pretty and I think it will match um, the cover of my Hobonichi quite well. The hydrangea is just a little bit darker but I think it looks quite pretty. Another thing that I picked up is one of the um, last sets that I needed to finish my mild liner collection. This is the pastel set. In my last Hobonichi haul, I picked up the other colors. I'm sure you all know what mild liners are. Um, it's just a double-ended 
highlighter just like that. I did actually hear that they're coming out with two other different color sets later in October. I think one set is just available in Korea and now they're just starting to sell it at the Hobonichi website and the other one is that new pack that I've been really really wanting, the one with the dark gray color. So maybe I'll pick up those eventually but I'm happy with the colors that I have now. So um, now I'm excited to use some more pastel colors. And the very last thing that I picked up are these um, Pentel Sign Touch pens and I picked them up in the bright color. These are sort of like brush pens but the brush head is just a little bit smaller. So you get a gray, a pink, a blue. This is kind of like a mustardy color so I'm excited to swatch that and then a green. So ugh, these look so, so nice. I'm very excited to try it but I won't swatch it in this video. Um, I might swatch it later in my Hobonichi and see how I like it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good and the point is quite small as well. Um, I've been journaling a lot in my Hobonichi and sometimes um, the brush pens that I have are quite large. Like the Tombows are like way too large to be in um, or to be used in like an A6 size or anything smaller. So that's why I picked up these to give them a try. And yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to swatch these as soon as possible. <laughs> So that is it for my haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it. It was a little bit small and quite simple, actually, compared to what everyone else has been hauling recently. I will definitely be doing another journal with me in my Hobonichi Techo, and I decided that I'm going to do a spread on some of the items that I kind of wish that I picked up in the Hobonichi um, release days. There are items that I kind of missed out on and kind of regret not getting, so be on the lookout for that spread coming soon. If you are part of one of the Hobonichi Facebook groups, then you already know what cover that I'm talking about. <sighs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!